Hello. Hello, how are you? Nice to, you. Sure. Good yeah. to see you. Good nice to meet you. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Can I get your water? Would you yeah. use a music machine? Yes. What is the reason why I went to this real estate yeah. office here? Yeah. It was because of the videos. Marketing. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I saw some first uh, impressions of you and, and yeah. videos about the area and everything. And I said, okay, this is where I have the feeling. Yeah. It's yeah. not about the glamorous and this oh. and that, it's just about the real business. Yes. Yeah, and this is what exactly. social media is about, I think. Yes. Yeah, and we, we, we took it as, I mean, we know there's, there's companies out there who do the glitzy, glamorous, driving around all these amazing places in the Lamborghinis. That's not us. Yeah. That's not how That's we live perfect. our lives. Um, sure, we have clients who want that, but the vast majority of clients, I think, want a good, honest exactly. service. They, they, they want to hear the good and the bad. You know, exactly. Because no one's perfect. Um, so what we try and do is we try and give a, a balanced approach from a position of experience. You know, because well, I mean, I've been here 20 years, you've been here 15 years. 15 years. Um, so yeah, we've seen it all and uh, <laughs> hopefully we can, we can help really. So I, I'm really glad you found us. I'm really glad you found us from YouTube. And I had a look at your, your channel, which is very impressive as well. So thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. I think we are at a very similar stage with the yeah. followers and with yeah, the subscribers. I think so. Yeah. I, I think so. But that's really, that's really good. So tell me, what, I mean, why are you here? What, what do you want to achieve? Exactly. And what's, your, what's your dream? I will take my notes, yeah. right? because it's always easier, because otherwise I forget some important... <laughs> I do too, that's why I'm right to mention, yeah. 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 We've all got our pads out. The first, the first problem I had yeah. was, the last weeks turned out very different to what I planned originally because I planned to have some time to prepare everything yeah. and then it turned out to be extremely stressful and did not even have time to uh, check the emails uh, yes. you sent me because uh, uh, I really would have uh, appreciated to, to prepare this before, yeah, to have some more information and this is what I should have done, I know, but it was simply not possible. I mean, I would have had the time last night at maybe midnight, but I thought, okay, it's... Well, that's what sense. we're here for, that's what we're But uh, for. maybe yeah. it's an interesting first approach in this case, just to start with the chat and... and, 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 and exactly. You have to start somewhere. Yeah, you do. And, and do you know what? Sometimes, you know, buyers, everyone, every buyer has a different journey. Sometimes it can take two hours, sometimes it can take two years. You know, we're, we're, you know, you're the boss in this relationship. We're just here to, to help you and guide you, really. So maybe I just want to give you some background information from yeah. my side at the yeah. beginning. Um, originally, I think about buying a second residency since about maybe 10 years. Okay. okay. So it's yeah. a long time, yeah. but it was not the time to do it. But mm -hmm. one day, you have to make it true. Yeah? That's right. And uh, the reason is, um, to give some background information, we have a house in Vienna with the family. Mm -hmm. So okay. I decided if I buy something, it should be somewhere mm -hmm. abroad mm -hmm. to use it as a second residence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there are at least four areas mm -hmm. where I'm thinking about considering. Yeah. And first of all, I thought about uh, Mallorca. Yeah. This was the first approach yeah. Yeah. Um, years ago. Mm -hmm. um, then also, uh, the second idea was maybe Ibiza. The third one, where we are getting closer to what may, might become reality, was Cyprus. Okay, yeah. The reason was in Cyprus, a good friend of mine moved there, and so it's always good to have some company and yeah, yeah. socialize and so on. Absolutely. Um, I've been to Cyprus uh, twice in the last year, mm -hmm. and he already got his villa there, but he rents it. Yeah. 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 Um, maybe you saw the videos, but yeah. it's uh, German, so you yeah. might not understand it, but you got maybe some first impression or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he found something better than in the videos, but anyway. Okay, okay. Um, and uh, finally, um, one idea is Mabea. Yeah. And this is the one I think <coughs> is where I'm closest to really buy something. And now we go to the reasons, because I think this might be important for you for, the, for the search. Mm. I had my first visit uh, in uh, Mabea about two years ago, mm -hmm. um, in 2019. Mm -hmm. Um, because I had a project for YouTube with a company from um, Estonia. Okay. They financed something here. Yeah. And we made a story where we met uh, different uh, places here where we had different collaborations for the YouTube Investment Talks channel. Mm -hmm. yeah? And this was my first time here and I thought it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I really feel comfortable here. Comfortable. Yeah. Um, and then there was the reason that I think I might prefer the mainland, not an island. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know why, but it's from the feeling, somehow. 
Yeah, and this is what I don't like that much on Mallorca. I mean, it's a really nice place, Fox Beach. but I really like to be able to go there with the car, without the ferry, yeah. also from home. I know it takes two days, but at least if you want to transfer something or transfer a car or something, you don't need the ferry. I really did the trip to Mallorca with the car, but it's more effort. Yeah. yeah. And Ibiza is the same. Yeah. And so will Cyprus be even harder? I think with Mallorca and Ibiza, I mean, we have clients who look at them. I, I know Mallorca very well. It's, like you say, it's beautiful. But I think there is that feeling, and it's it's a it's an emotional thing about being on an island. You, you, yeah. you, you know that you can't. Yeah. You just have to plan exactly. Everything. And also the winters are different. Exactly. This is the next reason I wanted yeah. to mention because yeah. I was looking for something most in the south, mm -hmm. but in European Union because it makes yeah. everything so much easier for me in Austria. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, insurance, yeah. everything. I just don't really need to take care about anything because no, it's uh, like at home. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. so this is. Exactly. Uh, Perfect for me, even the phone. Uh, oh, exactly. yeah. Just, uh, exactly. No problem, I can use everything. Yeah, it uh, saves a lot of money at least. Yeah, I mean, it does. anyway, it is expensive to have a second residency because there are a lot of additional costs. Yeah. Also, something I have to consider in the next uh, mm -hmm. uh, time. But it's a big difference if it's in the European Union. Yeah. So, and this is the southest part in the European Union. Yeah. And um, my idea is why I want a second residency is because I really hate the winters in Vienna. Yeah. Yeah, oh. So it's, it's a real problem for me, also for my health. It's, it's, not, no, it's, it's really a problem. Yeah? Also my doctor said I should be somewhere in a mild climate because okay. I have a big problem with nose and everything. Oh, and, 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 yeah. and this okay. is much better. <coughs> so this is the idea to get out of that in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And if I have a residency, I think I will do it more often. But then if you right. just go to the hotel, because you don't do it at least. They yeah. think, okay, next month, next month, next month. Yeah. The, the, I mean, the winters are my favorite time here. Exactly. Be with you, because it's, yeah, it's a bit cooler. I, I hate July, August, I hate it. You know, if I could spend July and August in the UK, I would. Yeah. But the winters here are fantastic. And also, like you say, because you have lots of different places that you can visit. So one day, if you want to go to Malaga or Cadiz or Cordoba or Sevilla or, Mondo, exactly. or, Ronda, or you exactly. want to go skiing. This was exactly there. the idea. The skiing yeah. is even here. And yeah. I thought, okay, maybe I just go skiing and again. then go yeah. back to the sun. And this is yeah. uh, so, so within, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, within two hours, you can yeah. get a bag in the car and you can yeah. be in a completely different environment, in Mallorca, Ibiza, Cyprus, you can't do that. That's exactly the point. We've actually yeah. skied in the and mornings in Sierra yeah. Nevada, come back and sat in the sun in the afternoon. It's, we yeah. do that quite frequently in the winter. Yeah, it's, it's a great lifestyle. And it's not a vast mountain range, but it fits the bill. Yeah. It gives you that little bit of skiing that you just want. Mm. It's so complete. Yeah, that's exactly so what I was thinking about. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm considering. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go skiing in Austria, but I might do here. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is the idea, because here I might have the time to do it. Um, and, uh, it's stunning up there in the summer as well. If you do cycling, there's some really lovely um, yep. trails up there in the Sierra. Well, there is everywhere, but Sierra Nevada is beautiful mm -hmm. in the sun in the springtime. It's really lovely. Absolutely. And one last thing that makes it attractive for me here in the area is the infrastructure, mm -hmm. because it's much better than Cyprus. In Cyprus, uh, you know, yeah. at home. Here I have a very shitty car at the moment because it's a rental car. But at home, I, I used to drive the Tesla, oh, and right. I could not do this in Cyprus, I think, no. because no. the roads are that bad that exactly. it's one day yeah. and everything is broken. Yeah, so um, no, it, it's, it's a truth. I have been there. My friend has, a, has an SUV there. That's fine. Yeah, an old one. Yeah, that's but, all you need. Um, that what he, exactly what he needs there. But yeah. um, I would prefer to have this lifestyle I have in Vienna as well here. Home yeah. from home. And uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And and so this is uh, maybe cool. that basic information about the area, mm -hmm. why it's yeah. Mabea, it's very interesting for me, yeah. Yeah. finally. But that all, that all makes sense. Yeah. You know, a lot of those reasons, <laughs> a lot of those reasons are the reasons that I'm here, and probably you are Most as well. You know? So it's a, it's a similar thought pattern. Because yeah. when I moved from the UK, I, I was looking at places I could come to that ticked all these boxes, but also I didn't have to speak Spanish on day one. and, and there's not many choices. It was the south of France or here, and here, south of France is also one idea. Yeah, yeah, but the climate in the south, it's very can be very cold in the winters because you get the Mistral and the yeah, the Mistral exactly. Yeah. This was what I also saw when I've been there, yeah. Yeah, and then I said, okay, I don't like this wind. This Mistral, it's, it's very often. It's yeah. not only just uh, once. I've oh, no, been several times, and several times it was such a storm. It can last. And I didn't yeah. even want to to leave the hotel. Yeah, and then I said, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, then 
and I said, okay, this is not the place. Yeah, it's not, yeah. not, not perfect. Yeah. Right. So I, I think you're right to head as far south as you can yeah. um, in Europe and, and yeah, and, and see how it uh, see how it goes from, from there. Who, who are you buying this for? Is it just yourself or partner no. or kids? Or maybe maybe some, some friends that yeah, uh, just visit right. me and, yeah. and, and join me. But uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the, the, the original idea because also I have these two kind of businesses. On the one hand, I have this uh, old school appointments in Vienna where I do, for example, uh, driving tests. So I'm, uh, I work for the police yeah, and uh, this, for the driving license I do the test there. Yeah, so. Oh, I'm an examiner, okay. yeah. Okay. Right. Um, but you can uh, <laughs> block this on yeah. two weeks. So this is what makes ah, it interesting. Okay. So I have the second half of the month where I can Do go wherever and uh, just take care of my investments and uh, yeah. on YouTube great. and yeah. the online business and the books and all that stuff. Excellent. So, yeah. so, nice. so the time that you're not using the place here, would you want to rent it out? Or no. Would, no, okay. no. I think this is uh, not possible at the moment because you just want to put your clothes in I your wardrobe. You just and, uh, get there with your passport and that's it. So it, it's so it's a proper second home, not yeah. a, not a holiday. Home. It's, it's no, a, it's a proper second home. Yeah. So yeah. This, is, this is what is important, I yeah. think. Yeah. So it, because it's all year round. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, makes a difference. Yeah. yeah. Every month. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, that's great. And what do you have in your mind? What's the what's what does the perfect place look like? It's it's it's, it's difficult to. Describe right now because mm. it has to be developed also mm. everything. Yeah, of course. but maybe let's mention some points I already yes. um, mm -hmm. pointed out. Yeah, um, from the area it should be close to the infrastructure yeah. because mm -hmm. what I found out is I don't like to take the car every day if I am driving <laughs> instructor and, and yeah. examiner, but. I appreciate to walk or to take the bicycle or yeah. to take the e-scooter. Yeah. Uh, it's so much easier. You don't need to take care of the parking and everything. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And to socialize, I think it's nice to have a cafe, to have the gym and, and, yeah. and, and this infrastructure somewhere. Maybe not walking distance, but at least bicycle and... and, and you, yeah, there are nice beach walks where you can go from one end of Vestapona to the other. I do it a lot. I walk a lot and my, we cycle a lot. And you yes. can go from one end of the... Best of and right into the old town, without you know, right along the beach where the cafes exactly. are. This is how simple my yep. life is. You know, this is what we do: stop, have a drink, tap hands, cheringuitos, bit of lunch. Perfect. So I, I understand totally where you're coming from there. That's it, my kind exactly of life. Uh, yeah, okay. my approach. There. Yeah, yeah. So something accessible. This should be to it. Yeah, yeah, in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then maybe. To the to the size, so, so the price is mm -hmm. is my price range at the moment is like up to two hundred fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take a mortgage, and um, also I think it's important. I don't like to talk too much about money, but it's important in our uh, exchange right now. Otherwise, it, because yeah, at the moment I'm in a situation I don't need to work, mm -hmm. which makes it life so much different for me from yeah, the yeah. from yeah. the brain. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to change this. Understand. And so yeah. I want to keep it simple, keep it small, because then I will enjoy it even more, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And I can change it in any way later. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah. Yeah. for exactly. the moment, I want to exactly. start with that. Your first also, home, start there and then the see how you... Yeah. Yeah. One mm -hmm. quick question, Bernard. In, in terms of the, the budget, you know that here in Spain we have purchasing costs on top of the price, so which normally will be between yeah, between yeah. ten and fifteen percent. I saw it in your video. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that included in this, or can that be added on? Let's see what we're finding. Okay. Uh, um, okay. So, what do you imagine then for that for that sort of money? What's a two bed apartment? It would be optimal if we have a two bed apartment because then it's much easier if you invite friends. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, and two bathrooms would be really, yeah. really nice. Uh, this is also what we uh, saw when I visit friends. Uh, with two bathrooms, two bedrooms, oh, it's much easier. That's so much easier. easier. Yeah. You're, you're having um, separate, separate exactly. quarters, yeah. yeah. But then, if it's not possible on the price, if you find it, okay. Yeah, but this would be, of course, uh, a nice size. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of style, and, and yeah. you know, do, you, do you have a preference? Because yes. some people like rustic, some people like very modern. And modern. Okay. I, I would yeah. like to go to modern. <laughs> Uh, if possible, the modern because uh, I, it should be very light, more this, uh, let yeah. me call it maybe Ibiza style, yeah, yeah, this yeah. bite. Do you like open plan, like the kitchen? Very, yes, yeah. yes, yes, definitely open plan. And uh, I would like to have a, a big dining table, yeah, if yeah. possible. Okay. This is something I, I have in mind where you mm. can just mm. see, okay, 
I can invite fellows, friends, mm -hmm. uh, and, and have this yeah. space because a lot of apartments only have this small um, living dining rooms, yeah. living yes. room where you can only sit maybe on the on the bar of the kitchen or something. Yeah. I think yeah. it's not good. And also, I will not uh, have a separate room on this price, I guess, for an office. And so I think it would be easy for working if I have this dining table when I'm alone, yeah, because then I can just work on that. Do you know what? That's, that's what I've been doing. I mean, this is our office, but we, we're not using it, so we've actually used it for our furniture business. Because I'm working from home. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm working from my kitchen table. Me too. And I have a, my, my stack of files is getting bigger and bigger, and I'm getting loads of hassle. But yeah, my kitchen table is, is the most important bit of the house for me because it, it's exactly it's where I eat, it's where I where I watch TV, it's where yeah. I work. Exactly, and this is exactly the idea. Yeah. yeah. So I think there should be the space for a. Pretty big nice dining table because yeah. this is yeah. the area where you live at this. Yeah. 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 Where I have the MacBook, where I have everything, where I make a video for the other channel and so on. Yeah. Where I have the yeah. Yeah. So I think this would be uh, important. Um, yeah. Open plane, the plan connected yeah. to the living room yeah. and and yeah, also some place for a sofa or something. And what's also important, I think, is the terrace space as well. Yes. Because Definitely. we spend a lot of time outdoors here. Yes. Some people don't. Some people like to have open terraces where they get the sun all day. Some people like to be a little bit shaded. Do you have a preference? Open, open if possible. But, uh, you know, we have to, it's not everything is, is a must, yeah, but it's yeah. It okay. nice. Yeah, place. I mean, we're not going to tick every nice place, So we have to work out what's, exactly. what's really important and then what we're prepared to compromise on. Okay. Would you consider a garden or ground floor? No. Just first floor. Really. I mean, you never know what happens at the end. No, yeah, 100%. <laughs> not, not for a moment, yeah. Okay, okay. I think it's easier because it's about balcony terrace. Tell us, where do you like and where do you know here? Because obviously you, you came two years ago. I guess you've been a few times since, no? Or no, this, it's the second, second time now. Oh, okay. and so it's a really early stage, uh, okay. for sure. Yeah, I so have to discover more, but I thought, yeah. okay, you have to start at one point. Yeah, start somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Just to get in touch with everything. Yeah. Because otherwise you will always watch videos and so on, but you don't really got to be start here. it. Yeah. And, and this is the first approach in general. Okay, okay. so yeah. first question then. Where are you staying at the moment? At the moment, at the NH Mabea. Okay, yeah, on the Golden Mile. Which is uh, the reason because a friend of mine is manager of NH. And so ah, okay. This is the funny thing. He's from my YouTube channel. He was a subscriber. Yeah. So this is the reason why I chose wow. this event. Okay. But it was not because of the area. This is what I wanted to say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, but, but I like it. I, I've been uh, for a run um, yeah. yesterday evening. Where I went into Mabea yeah. on, the, on, the, on the Golden Mile. I think it's called Golden yeah. Mile. Yeah. 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 Do you like Mabea? Yes, but it might be too busy. Yeah. Okay. From yeah, because it's, it's a nice to visit. It's, it's, it's a proper working town. I mean, the nice thing about Mabea is everything is there. You have, and also you have different parts. So you have the old town, which is very charming and beautiful. Then you have the promenade with all the bars and the restaurants and the shop. So there's lots of different things, you know, um, and it. You know, it's nice to have there. Yeah. If you want it, it's nice to have. Um, okay, so apart from that area where you're staying, where else do you know? Do you know Estepona? Do you know this area? Do I have been to Estepona in 2019 with my friend, mm -hmm. with my business partner, because there we had to make this video about the apartment. Uh, yeah. Um, but did at least, to be honest, only see the apartment. <laughs> so it was not so yeah. much time. Yeah, it was really tough schedule. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically we have to we have to uh, okay. check together. Maybe yeah. okay, that's that's yeah. fine. I mean, just to give you some so some videos, yeah, yeah. but, but yeah. that's yeah. not enough. Yeah. Just to give you some idea of kind of where Marbella has grown up in, in terms of the area, because people refer to Marbella, but they could mean here, they could mean Estepona. Mar Mar Marbella, uh, people don't think of it as the town; they think of it as the as the area. Um, yes, right, yeah. Yeah, so Marbella town is kind of where it all began, and then you've got the Golden Mile with the very expensive hotels like Marbella Club and Puente Romano, and, and you know the the price of the land there is is crazy high. So so to find anything in this budget is going to be very difficult for the style and the and the quality that I think you want. So it means we need to look a little bit outside. So we need to to either go east of Marbella or west of Marbella. If you go east of Marbella. The problem there is that there's not a huge amount of, of modern new build apartments because there was a major problem with the licensing laws in Marbella, uh, I won't bore you with the details. But also it means that anything that is new is again very expensive. So what a lot of people do um, with this sort of budget for an apartment is they come 
west of Marbella, which mm -hmm. is this area pretty much. Um, and at the very popular area at the moment is what we call the Golden Triangle, which is between Marbella, Benahabis, which is just inland, and Estepona. That's, mm -hmm. that's a, a, a very um, cosmopolitan area. It also has a good mix of, of residential stock. It also has lots of amenities, mm -hmm. facilities, schools, bars, restaurants, shops. And you can also get to Marbella very quickly. You yeah. can get to Puerto Banus very quickly. So that's an area that, that I think is worth worth looking yes, at. Yes, this is exactly where yeah. I yeah. thought about the room for yeah. this is exactly the Estepona is, is very beautiful and I think there is still significant value mm. in Estepona. Mm -hmm. There's an enormous amount of investment gone in locally and uh, from central government. The beach is fantastic, the promenade is beautiful, the old town is great. It's like a little mini Marbella. It's really lovely. Um, and it's nice to be near that as well. So you have lots of different, lots of different options. It's very interesting for me because you also say it has this uh, opportunity to be developed even more. Yeah? Yeah. And of course, it's also something I'm looking for, uh, for because um, I could also rent the apartment, but I think the prices for renting is uh, pretty high here, if yes. you want something nice. Yeah, to find something and nice is difficult. I think it's not such a bad idea, also from the investment case, Absolutely. just to say, okay, uh, I have something in the real estate market as well, yeah. yeah, and maybe the opportunity, you never know of course what happens, but maybe mm -hmm. the opportunity in the next years that it's uh, yeah. even better investment than a renting apartment. And many of those developments have in-house management agency who will take care of all the rentals and do all the, all right, you're going to get a charge the management fee, but they do have on-site, so there's people checking your rented accommodation regularly so it's quite it's quite safe rather than do it through like an airbnb a lot of the new developments have the online management companies okay yeah. so it also is uh, usually allowed to make airbnb uh, for example in this uh, yeah he, uh, development in this yeah you you there's a new law that came in recently which means that the um the community of owners has to approve exactly um, the same answer yeah, which it's, it's fairly new because here anyone has been able to rent out, but they've made it stricter now to protect the hotel industry and also to, to stop landlords just renting anything. So now you have to have a certificate from the town hall, which is very easy. You okay. just need to have air conditioning in each room, the, the certain things you need to have. Oh, okay. All the new developments have it. And then you need to have the permission of the community to to rent. And the I think it's a 60, it's two thirds majority, isn't yeah, it? 60, yeah, 60, yeah. I don't know many developments where you can't rent. I think there's one or two, but the, the ones that are near amenities, people do rent in there. There's enough people who, who rent to, to make sure that you, you're not going to get blocked, mm. uh, which is important for investment in you know, Exactly, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's not my plan at the moment yeah, because I want to do it for myself, yeah. but yeah. you never know what happens. And Exactly. Maybe, I, yeah, I mean, I always just uh, buy something else exactly. and, and, and use this for, for renting. I always think, you know, in anything, whenever you buy anything in life, you have to think, what is the worst thing that can happen? You know. Yeah. So, exactly. can I sell it easily and can I rent it easily? So, you know, and so for me, that then comes down to location. You know, because if you're ticking a lot of the boxes for the location and you're in an area that people want to be in, then there's always going to be a market to buy it from you, and there's always going to be a market to rent it from you. So that's really important. So location is always the first thing, yeah. and um, and then from that we can we can try and tick as many of these of these boxes as as, as possible. Yes, we did not finish the boxes. Because it changed the area very fast at <laughs> the location yeah. topic. But there is one thing that's really important for me. Mm -hmm. It's just I think it is a must have. This would be a, a parking garage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the reason is um, yeah. it makes everything easier for me. Yeah. Because yeah. if I'm not here, I can just leave the car in the garage. Even if I'm not for the camera, but if I don't change the plate, for example, or something, yeah. if it's yeah. parked outside, you have a problem very soon. Yeah, of course. Um, but if it's in the garage, it's just my. Yeah. Most of them are so, car so yeah. just put it there and leave yeah. it there, and no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it would most. be, in my case, important to have a plug in there because uh, yeah. I'm used to electric cars and yeah. I would yeah. like to have one here as well. Yeah. Um, well, I think Tony said that certainly in the new developments, the ones that are being completed now, um, they normally, most of those have, the, have access to electric charging points. The older developments, it's like a retrofit. Mm -hmm. So I'm in an older place at the moment and we're 
we're having to retrofit the electric charging points and it's costing, I think, 300 euros. Yeah, that's no problem. Just it is possible just it, to, it, to yeah. implement. Yeah. You know what? It's very easy here because they just run the wires through with all the false walls and it comes down. And then, then yeah, I made the same in Vienna in, in the right. Mangan. Okay. Yeah. So nice, it's installed nice it later, but uh, it should be somehow possible because yeah. otherwise I have a problem because oh, it's... Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Most have yeah. got a storage room and there's electric running to that anyway, so they're probably just coming for that. It's very as long as it's programmed to your electricity <laughs> yeah. bill, Super. then yeah. the residents will. But this is problem. something that's easy. Yeah. Uh, really important because yeah. otherwise yeah. I cannot really use it. Uh, My nephew has a Tesla, so I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I think that's basically, now we, we have it, I think, what, what is important, what I wrote down. Yeah. Okay. And okay. good Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, interesting. Really cool. yeah. the, the good thing is about this area is the Wi-Fi is fantastic. Brilliant. I mean, it's far better than it, than it is in London. Uh, and I, yeah. go to, I go to London and I'm like, yeah. jumping from network to network to find a good connection. Here, it's steady. I mean, we have fiber optic here with OliveNet, and then yeah. at home I have it with someone else, and it's, you know, we, we everyone streams TV services yeah. here, so it's so I've got super, movie style, it's brilliant. Super, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, so there's no problems with that. Um, the, only, the only time you might struggle is if you're far out in the hills and, you know, they have to connect it. But it's not the area in any way, yeah. I believe, because, no. you know, especially if I'm here alone, yeah, it's exactly. like, I feel too alone, I think of it's course. completely yeah. outside, yeah, I mm -hmm. think it should be somewhere yeah, but you can socialize uh, yeah. somehow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. in walking exactly. distance or what we yeah. are talking about. Definitely. Yeah. So I think the plan would be we we've selected. I think Tony sent you the um, the the initial kind of ideas. Yes, that we it was five yeah. apartments. Yeah. I believe in Esteban. It has yes. been developments. Uh, yeah, that's right. but yeah. You know, it's really my first approach. So I really need your help. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. um, These developments. Um, the question is, when are they ready to move in? For example. Mm -hmm. um, most of them are ready, key ready. Yeah. I mean, what you have to bear in mind is with, with any new development, obviously if you buy off plan, so if you buy at the very start and you wait 18 months or two years to be completed, the chances are that you're going to have the best choice of the, the apartments. So you're going to go, that's the one. And you're probably going to buy it at a really good price mm -hmm. because the developer obviously wants, mm -hmm. wants cash. Mm -hmm. When it comes to stuff that's near completion, you might only have the, the last bits that are available. Now that sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not, but sometimes units come back onto the market, so you never quite know. But I think what I would do, Jackie's got a few ideas, but I think we need to show you three or four places um, that are ready or approaching completion, mm -hmm. um, that give you the style that I think you're looking for. Exactly. To get yeah. this first approach, yeah. so this is what the stage is in the moment yeah. from my side. I don't think there's any point showing you old, 10-year-old resales no. and uh, I, I just think let's stick with the new stuff yeah stick, stick with the new stuff yeah. uh, or, or very or, or nearly new um, yeah. because that will give you I think the architectural style you want in terms of modern clean open plan yeah. uh, which is important I think and then the location as well the ones we've, we've picked out are, are all well located aren't they? Unfo yeah they are unfortunately Alexia life that the, the second phase of that's not finished till 2023 so but there's only one bedroom there. Yeah, the, the thing no, is, um, it's not only about the stress, because I don't have a stress to no. move in. Uh, it's just still a yeah. yeah. process yeah, mm -hmm. I have to go through, yeah. also from my, from my mind there. But uh, the thing is, what I'm afraid, of, what's my anxiety is that, for example, there is, because it's my first time I buy yeah. anything, that there is some insolvency of the developer of course, or something. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is more the reason why I ask, okay, when I is it understand. ready to move in? Uh, because of this development stage, because yeah. I'm just afraid what is if something goes wrong. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. A friend I'm of mine had this problem in Austria, yeah, and so don't want to get into this yeah. uh, stress. Yeah? I, I totally understand. Just to allay your fears, um, any developer now um, has to provide, by law, has to provide a bank guarantee for any, any payments you make. Okay. And if they don't meet their, their obligations in the contract, so if they disappear or go insolvent, then the lawyer, your lawyer, goes to the bank who has insured the project and says, give me, give me the, the money. Okay. Okay. And um, that is, is very enforceable now here in Spain. 15, 20 years ago, no. Here now it's very enforceable. Okay. And my advice to any client if they're buying off plan, so before, you know, well before completion, is that 
if the builder hasn't got the license, because sometimes they sell before they get the building license because they want the money in. So we always say to our clients, don't give any money to the builder or the developer, give it to your lawyer. They protect it in an escrow account until the builder, developer has their paperwork and then the money is released in exchange for a bank guarantee. But up until that point, all the money goes to the lawyer. So basically, if you follow our advice and use the people that we I wanted to ask you about that. Yeah. Take care about that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So again, yeah. just uh, say, okay, please help me with that. Yeah. And you'll take care yeah. of that. We have two lawyers. Well, I mean, there's loads of lawyers in Marbella. We have two that we normally recommend to people who we know because they look after me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so that I know that they will protect our clients as if they're protecting me. And that's the most important thing because our reputation, you know what it's like. It, it takes... It takes years to build a reputation and you can lose it in two seconds. So we have no intention of doing yeah. that. So we will only introduce you to people that we would trust mm. with our own business and our own money. I think that's really important for you to for you to know. And of course, if you find the perfect place, what often happens is that people go, ah, what do I do now? You know, how do I how do I organize everything? How do I get furniture? How do I connect the electricity? And you know, the lawyer again handles all the the opening a bank account, um, they can organize all the direct debits with the uh, electricity and water providers in the community, we can help with the furnishing, you know, so don't panic. Okay, so if, if, if you find something you really love, yeah. then this was exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. you know, basically, you know, the fun should begin once you find a perfect place, not not create stress. Exactly. So I think the, the best thing to do is is to go out um, maybe one day next week, yeah, one morning or something like that, yeah. and take a look at three or four mm -hmm. options because that will help us understand what you like and what you don't like, which is really important for us. Because there's lots of things out there, what we need to do, and, you, and you've done it already, but what we need to do is to narrow down mm -hmm. the yes. options so that we're not wasting your time, we're not wasting our time, but we're focusing on areas that we, we think you're gonna like, properties that we think you're gonna like. Very good. And all I will say is, if you have a list of 10 things, we're never gonna tick all 10. For sure. And you know what? Yeah. It doesn't matter whether your budget is 25,000 or 25 million. You know, you can never tick them all. And sometimes the more money you have, the more difficult yeah. it is because then you start asking for stupid things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like like these turntables for your car and oh my god. Oh, we, we, we've had that. So as long as you're realistic. So I always say if you're ticking seven or eight out of ten boxes, you're doing really well. Yeah. You're never going to get ten. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Um, and so you know, as long as you're realistic, then I think that uh, we should be able to hopefully find you some things for you to consider. You know, as I say, the, the buying journey can take weeks, it can take months, it can take years, who knows? But all we can do is guide you and show you and if you like, perfect. you like, if you don't like, you don't like. It's perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's very good. I saw one project, uh, development project, um, I just found it in Intel, I don't know if you have it in your... Um, you probably do, we have uh, access to everything. Yeah. I think it was called Estebona Waves. Waves. Estebona Waves, yeah. No. You can Google it, you can find no, it very easily. Yeah. This was one, I, I don't know, I, I saw it just in the, in the last uh, month, yeah, I thought it's maybe from the design, from the architecture, it might be uh, attractive, but it's just as an idea still, yeah, because I don't know the stage and how much is developed or, or anything about that. Um, and I believe it's too far outside in the west of uh, Esteban as yeah. I uh, try to find out the location of it. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. It's just maybe as an idea because uh, it was one of my first uh, no, uh, good. Good. apartments I saw here on yeah. the internet. Uh, but uh, then I believe we should focus on uh, eastern uh, part of Estebona. Mm -hmm. So the uh, yeah, I, I think kind of this area between between San Pedro and. Ben Havis, uh, yeah. maybe ben also Havis one, yeah. just to see one apartment there would be maybe yeah. interesting, yeah. Yeah. just yeah. to get this feeling also, yeah. how is the view, how is the light, Benavis how is, is the... Yeah, Ben Havis is, is village life, but they've got the most superb restaurants, bars, it's a lovely community, but again, if you wanted to come down to the, to the beach, to the, yeah, you'd have to drive. It's yeah. Not, you can, yeah, yeah. could you, Sean? You could, you could live in the village and have, you know, there's lots to do. I'm also thinking about some of the developments on the Ben Road, you know, like um, Azules and Benatalaya and yeah, Roma, okay. Master, yeah. Marquez, yeah. Yeah. Conde Luque. 
I just think about it to figure out some different feelings, you know, yeah. if it, yeah. because now the time is very tight we have at the mm -hmm. moment because I will have to go back on the 24th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I originally planned to be here until end of June, but okay. then I got uh, a um, collaboration for the 26, 27 in Vienna, mm -hmm. very important for my YouTube channel, and I said, okay. I have to do this, so yeah, 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 yeah. I just rescheduled my flight to the 24th. Mm -hmm. yeah. when but uh, anyway, I will be back uh, for sure in the next weeks and okay, then maybe we'll have more time for everything. Yeah, Maybe I think I in Gardens, because that's, that's quite a nice yeah. location. I, I think what, what, what we'd like to do, I think, is over the next few days or, or whatever, is we just give you an introduction. Exactly. So that you, when you go home, you've got a few ideas in mind and then you can process that mm -hmm. and maybe take that forward so when you come back, you know, you know what you like, and we can then spend that time finding you. Exactly, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Because there's no point taking you to six different places. No, and then, no, no, no. You know, it's, it's better to get a good idea yeah. of three in each area, or one in each area, and then see which yeah. one you prefer. So what I'm going to suggest, because I'm tied up next week, mm -hmm. months, but I'm going to suggest that Jackie takes you out um, either one morning or one afternoon, mm -hmm. Monday or Tuesday, something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. um, I'll work with Jackie, sort of later today on preparing a, a short list of things for you mm -hmm. um, and then yeah see what you see what you think yeah yeah maybe we can do the monday yes because on tuesday i already have an appointment in sure. fuengirola yeah. yeah he's a business partner where we have to make a video so i'm gonna so what we'll do is we'll spend a bit of time when we when we leave you now we'll spend a bit of time just working through the best options for you mm -hmm. and then jackie will arrange that this afternoon and then we'll meet you on monday here perfect take you out show you them yeah. And then um, we'll find out what you think. Hello. Sorry, then suddenly the uh, battery was uh, gone and uh, the video, the record stopped. But um, this was actually, I did not plan to use this content I, I recorded right now, but I think there were some very interesting parts in it for people who have the same idea like me to um, get a second residency here in. Uh, in the area <laughs> and yeah so maybe you like it if not you will have skipped it anyway <laughs> um, and uh, I would look forward to exchange in the comments so feel free for that um, as you know always looking forward to that and yeah I think this should be it for this video with the first approach with my first approach to get in the next stage on getting a second residency in what area finally we don't know yet. And maybe also interesting for you, on Monday we will have the viewings for these properties. And so if you're interested to see some first viewings I do here, um, you can find them on my other channel, Bernard Hummel, because it will be more kind of a vlog. Yeah? And also the community on my other channel is uh, really waiting for these uh, viewings. Um, but at least also my channel, so you can just uh, switch between. Sorry if it's... Basically, that's it for the moment. Over and out. Bye-bye. All the best. <laughs>